Hello, back again for another one. Um, I've got another Polish beer, courtesy of Peter. Thank you, Peter. You're a legend. Um, this beer um, is a wheat beer. And it's by a brewery which was founded in 1992 after, um, in Poland, in uh, Gdansk. And they're kind of like, they were set up at the end of the communist era. And um, basically they've, they've produced a number of beers. I do a, a, a Kozlak beer as well. Uh, but this one we're doing today is a wheat beer, which is, you know, Polish wheat beer. Sounds rather nice. Now the, be the beer I'm doing, I don't know if I could pronounce it. It's, got, it's really... Well, I'll let you look at it anyway. The beer we're doing is this one anyway. It's that one. That there. Oh, I can't even say it. Anybody out there knows how to pronounce that? Put it in the comments. I haven't got a clue. And there's the back side of a... So, by the looks of it, this beer looks unfiltered. So I'm hoping it's going to have all those wonderful, classic wheat, wheat beer elements in it, you know. Hope so, anyway. I'm going to try it. No, I can't even say it. Even if I'm pissed out of my head, I couldn't even say that. Anyway, let's get on with the show. So I crack her open. What you do is the cap. Lovely jubbly, and I'm surprised you could fit that word on the cap. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm not gonna. No, I can't even say it. Sorry, boys and girls. Right, one game from the top. A little bit of a CO2 smoke there. Oh, excuse me. Again, not much else there. I'll get from the nose. Subtle wheat. Um, a little bit of clove. Not that much else. Maybe a bit grassy as well. Um, actually, a, a slight coiny element to it, which. Um, is surprising so I'm gonna pour out like you do and see oh it's coming out lovely and cloudy this cool it's buzzing there she is look at that that's really really cloudy that that reminds me of the vine Stefan I did a few weeks back and I loved it so the omens are good on this one yeah subtle hints of uh, wheat there but it's still not it's still really not that strong at all. Maybe a slight caramel even, which is unusual for a wheat beer. Um, but that's really, really cloudy. Oh, it's got like a garden. So let's pour out even more. Getting that lovely big head, lovely jubbly. Look at that. That's a big head. It, she gives big head. Anyway. Let's um, dive in and see what she gives us. What hits you first is the dryness of it. It's quite dry. It feels a little bit delicate. It feels... There's not really any big flavour boss in this, it's, it's little subtle flavours, subtle bits of biscuit, subtle bits of wheat, subtle bits of corn even, it feels corny, subtle bits of um, grass there, and the, after, the aftertaste is very very dry, it's, it's very very earthy as well, it's um, Very, very pleasant. Feels very light. Again, it's another Polish beer that feels very light. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels you can drink it like water. It's But it's very, very nice. You can have this with a salad, I imagine. Um, I think I've had wheat beers with salad before and they go so well together. Um, do I like this one? 
yes, I do like this one. It's it's rather nice. It's it's um very very sessionable. I mean, what's the ABV on this one? Five point two. It's five point two. So it's it's you know it's not a it's not a lightweight beer, but it feels lightweight. It's quite deceiving this one. Um, very very cloudy, but. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um, I don't I don't think you'd be able to get this in England, if you could. You know, give it a go. It feels very organic as well. It feels like one of them beers. <coughs> Excuse me, it's very gassy. It feels like one of them beers which has got organic ingredients in. Um, but, all in all, as I say all the time, boys and girls, it's a very, very nice beer. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting bready as well. The further I'm going down, I'm getting bready. I noticed when I did the Cossack just now. Once I was about halfway down when I finished the review of it, which, you know, my reviews would go on forever if I, you know, wait until I finished the last drop. But I know, you know, when I said it, I said it, it was kind of like feeling very heavy at the end. It was feeling very heavy at the end. It was, it was, um, you started to get that hit of alcohol, which, um, you know, I don't think it'll happen with this. It just feels light and airy and it just feels like something you could just, you know, session quite, quite, you know, regularly, if you know what I mean. But, um, no, it's very, very nice beer. So... Boys and girls, you know the score. I've told you before. That rhymes, eh? Go out and give this one a go. I'm not going to pronounce it because I don't know how to pronounce it. But um, it's not really. Uh... No, I can't even say it. So, boys and girls, try and find this beer by Amber. I know that's, you know, I know they're called Amber. Try and find that you know that beer there you know go on the beers of Europe they might do it beers of Europe ring them up have you got that beer anyway thanks for watching again take care see you on my next one